go. Feet flat on the floor, heart lifted. Three breaths in and out through your nose and from your belly or diaphragm as you breathe. All right, you should feel your belly rise, maybe even part of your chest too, that's okay. The belly is the important part, you wanna kinda use it. Alrighty, let's roll with this. Go, 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 go. All right. Extend your arms out front. Flex your wrists. Just do a little bit of a warm up here. Excellent. Roll your wrists. Change direction. Perfect. Keep your arms extended. Lift your palms up. Fingertips together to your shoulders. Excellent. Let's open up. Open up and all the way out. Back to your shoulders. Elbows together and out front. Shoulders. Open. Out. And again, you work to your capabilities, your range of motion. Do one more here. And open. Way. Perfect. Flip your palms. Nice. Fingertips up. It's going to do a little tilt here. So just your arms. Try and push low. Excellent. Your side when you're ready. Breathe. Back to center again. Straighten your fingers. Just lower your arms down nice and easy. Those shoulders come back in here. Do a little uh, shoulder rolls. It's nice and easy. Again, find what feels good. Excellent. You get to breathe, change direction. Let's bring your shoulders down to a rest here. Perfect. Hands on your knees. Legs about hip width or part, something like that is good. Do some trunk circles. Use your hands. Bring yourself around the front and then around the back. Get you to follow your breath here too. Come around the back, inhale. Come around the front, exhale. No number you need to meet here. Fantastic. Change direction. Excellent. And bring yourself back to center again. And readjust. And do some long arm stretches here. So drop your arms down by your side. Inhale your arms up. Reach up. And then exhale back down. You're going to bring your arms back. Wherever they go is where they go. Perfect. Inhale up. And exhale down. Exhale down. Fantastic. A couple more here. Exhale down. Last one. Fantastic. Arms all the way back. Perfect. Bring your arms back in line with your body and let that all come back. Perfect. Pick a leg. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to do both. Lift it up. Flex and point your foot. You can do it through the rhythm or your own rhythm or 
whatever. Max, drop that leg down. Other side, same thing. Flex and point your foot. Trying your best to keep your back flattish, you know, your best posture. Excellent. You can hold that leg up too. I didn't tell you that the first time. I think you know. Max, set that leg down. Other side again. This time, you're going to rotate foot in the ankle joint. You're making circles with your toes. Change direction. Excellent. Set that foot down. And then this one, again, same thing. Rotate the foot. Fantastic. Change direction. Nice. Set that leg down. Two more things. One is neck. I'm going to go high for a second here. So again, heart lifted. Just to turn your head to one side. Glance in behind as if you're trying to look behind you. Your eyes back in line with your head. And your head back to center. Nice and easy. All these movements, nice and slow, methodical. Other side when you're ready. And glance in behind with just your eyes. Bring your eyes back in line with your head. And your head gently back to center again. Chin to chest. Look towards your chin. And your eyes back in line with your head. And your head back up to center. Nice. One more. Gentle neck stretch. Look up. Your eyes back in line with your head again. And your head back to center. Yeah. One more. So the open leg gait. Okay. So pick a leg and bring it up and open and back and down. Okay. Same on the other side. Let's turn a little bit more here. So up and open. Back and side. You can hold your chair, whatever you need to do. Switch leg, up, open, back, down, switch again. Last one on this side. Just to kind of warm up those hip joints a little bit. Fantastic. So we're going to start cardio part. So uh, we start with a march always. If the march gets to be too much, just lift your heels, all right? You get to choose. Try and lift from your uh, thigh muscles and not from your hips, okay? Um, if you kind of make a conscious effort, it makes it a little easier, okay? All right. Add your arms here into a march. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, stay with this march and reach out front. Grab, reach, grab, then pull. So reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. When you reach, spread your fingers, grab, grab a good grip, and pull back. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. One more. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring your arms down. So this is Movement Matters. I'm only going to do eight repetitions of things. If you, I might kind of go up or lower. It just depends. But usually it's going to be around eight repetitions. Back into your march again. Soft fists. And back. All right. Feet. So pick a foot, you know, heel forward, toe back. So heel, 
just one leg. Heel and toe. Heel, toe, stick with this. Opposite hand's gonna push forward. Push with that foot. Push, push and back. Heel, toe with that extended arm. Excellent. One more. Perfect. Back into your march again. Nice and easy. Other foot's going to do the same thing. Okay. Start with your leg first. So heel, toe. Heel, toe. Perfect. Add that opposite arm. Push. Push. Check your posture. Do your best to breathe in and out through your nose. Push. Excellent. Push forward. Excellent. Back into your march again. Nice. Well done. Let's do some, uh, do a V step, seated V step. Okay. So I'm about halfway in my chair, kind of where you want to be, give you a little more arm, leg, back room. Okay. Right? So we're going to do legs out front. So V step is out, out, back, and back. So to the beat, you can just do he, uh, two toes to the front for the V step. We don't need to go far. It can be just a small V, a lowercase. Or you can go for capital V. It depends how you feel. Okay. Add your arms. Okay. So out, out, and back. Halfway. And three. Two and one. Perfect. Into your march again. Well done. Remember which leg you led with? I think it was probably your right or your dominant leg. We're going to switch. So, again, same thing again. This time you're going to lead with the opposite leg. Okay. So it's out and back. Out, back. Add your arms if you're comfortable with it. Perfect. Two more. One. Nice. And back into your march again. Well done. Excellent. Take a nice deep breath from your belly, chest, lungs. Perfect. All right. Let's go with a side tap here. So out. There we go. We're gonna add arms here too, just because we can. And push out with that leg. Out, out. Let's make it a little more smooth. All right. Drop your hands down. As the leg goes up, raise the arm. Nice. Check your posture. much of a beat there is there oh my words perfect bring those arms back down stay with this if you can we're going to push across your chest so as the uh, leg goes out the arm goes across this time and again you don't have to go far the option is to go really deep listen to your body Nice. Perfect. And three, two, and one. Back to your march again. Nice. Let's just have a sip of water here. Keep your water handy. Try and keep your feet going, or one foot anyways. See how long it stays there, eh? Excellent. 
Bring your heels to the front. Dig them down. Fantastic. So this heels, we're going to dig the heels in four times and then switch legs, okay? One, two, three, four, and switch. Two, three, four, and switch. Two, three, four, and switch. Three, four, switch. Three, four, switch. Three, four, fantastic. Into your march again. Catch you off guard like that. Do some toe taps to the front. Drop your arms down and hang. So just bring those toes down. Try and keep your heels lifted if you can. Hands gonna push forward. Back to posture. And nice. Swing your hands around so they face the back and push back. And your leg goes forward, and your toe tap. Try and push back just a little bit more than your swinging arm. Pushing back a little more effort. Perfect. Fantastic. Nice. Back into your march again. All right. I'm gonna try a different one. I'm called uh, we'll call it a moon march. So as if you're everything's in slow motion, you're gonna take a march. Okay. It's really slow. So lift. And set it back down, other side. Lift. Look, you're marching. Nice. Lower is better. But your breathing can be at the regular rate. You don't have to go to slow motion breathing. Lift. Lower, lower, slower, slower. Other leg. Perfect. And we're going to speed this up just a little bit. Excellent. Back into your march again. Well done. Neil Armstrong would be proud of you. I am too, but as an outside person, I mean. Okay. Do some knee ups. This time we're just going to push down with your arms. Okay, one knee at a time. Keep your heart and torso upright. Not trying to do any crunches or anything. Excellent. Perfect. Three more. Two. One. Back into your march again. Nice. Again, if that march gets to be too much, change that rolling march. Try and keep those legs going if you can. All right? Fists. Okay? And actually, we'll change this up. Not fists. Point your fingers. So bring all your fingers together. You're going to make some circles with them. Okay? Just away from your body a little bit. Sit front. Check your posture again. All right. Roll your hands. Those fingers together. Eat it up a little. A little more. Faster. Feet still at the same pace. Nice. Breathe. Got this. Slow down a little bit. Just your hands and change directions. And around the other way. Perfect. Spinning. 
going as best you can. Nice. A little faster. Perfect. A little of that down again. Nice. Bring those arms down. Shake them out. Rolling march if your legs get tired, okay? Nice. Shake that out. Again, V step this time. Again, this time, instead of down, we're going to go up, all right, with your hands. Okay. Start with your dominant leg anytime you're ready. Out and back. Out, out. Perfect. Once you get your feet going, add your arms. Three more, two, one. Stay right here, bring your arms down, let them hang for a second. Nice, perfect. V-step again, leading with your non-dominant leg this time, right? Again, just jump in when you're ready. Out, back, out, back, nice. Get your comfort level with your legs. And then add your arms as you're ready. Okay. Excellent. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Bring those arms down again. Into a nice sloppy march. Perfect. We're going to change the march to a rolling march. And cool this down. Well done, by the way. Lifting your heels, heart lifted. Let's kind of let everything kind of come back. And slowly lower down our uh, blood. Slowing down a bit. Excellent. Perfect. Shoulders. Drop your arms down, shrug your shoulders up. So follow your breath, inhale up and exhale down. Nice and smooth. You want your joints to love you. Shoulders, you want them to love you too. Back down again. Inhale up and then exhale down. Fantastic. Three more. Two. And one. One. Bring our shoulders down to a rest. Shake your arms out. Perfect. Keep your feet going. Arms out to the side. Make a fist and flip. Fist. Fist, fist, there you go. Check your posture. So easy to slump into it. I know I'm constantly catching myself doing the same thing. Flick, three, two, and one. Fantastic, keep your fingers extended. Tilt your arm, three, Nice. Back to center. Other side when you're ready. Nice. Fantastic. Back to center again. And just lower your arms down nice and easy. Let the shoulders come back. Shake your arms out. Perfect. Perfect. Add your little arm march here. Just easy march. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wrap your hands around you, one arm at a time. Open, open, close, and close. Keep those elbows tucked. Close, close, open, open. Excellent. 
one more here. Open, open, close, and close. Again, kind of let your shoulders come back. Let them agree to what we're doing here. <laughs> Perfect. Arms up to the side again. Uh, flex your wrists up and down. Did a roll. Perfect. Bring those hands together in the front. Roll your way there. Change direction. Perfect. You can wiggle your fingers. Fantastic. Bring your arms down nice and easy. Again, shake it out. Let your shoulders come back. Let me do some bicep curls here. Tuck your elbows in from the halfway point. Your arms up, flex your biceps, and bring them all the way down. And up. Excellent. Check your posture. Breathe from your belly. Excellent. Three. Two. And one. Fantastic. Bring those arms down. Again, just kind of wiggle your fingers here. Check your posture. Shoulders should be good. Bring your hands up. All five fingers are in front. Go from your fingers to your thumb, touching the tips. Look to get yourself going, but don't follow. Try and realize or guess where your fingertips are. Proprioception is for the scientists out there. Excellent. Perfect. That's good. Again, just kind of wiggle your fingers, drop them down. Nice. We're going to stay with that. Oh, there is one more we can do. We're all about it. It's a good one, too. So, you know, walk your feet out to the sides and then back. Go four or three or four steps and then back again. Excellent. Nice. We can go both the same way. Opposite. Whatever's good. Tap them out. Well done. Well done. Fantastic. Again, you're gonna have a sip of water. We're gonna move on to let's go with um, isometrics. So weights without weights. I'm going to get you two. Think about the middle of your chair. Okay, want a little bit of back room so we can move a little bit. Let's go with. Uh, should we start first? Leg lifts. Yes, good choice. Good choice. So one leg at a time. Lift it up and out. Back. And down, switch to the other side. Up, out, back, and down. I'm going to do eight repetitions, both sides. So work your own pace. Let your body be your guide. Every time I say that, I kind of think of Pinocchio and uh, Jiminy Cricket. Let your conscience be your guide, right? <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Up and out, back and down. We're halfway and out, up, out, back, excellent. And out, back, last one, last set, out, back. And down, switch, 
out, back, and down. Fantastic. Nice work. All right, more. No, actually, I'll stay right here. So on your chair, I'm going to get you to put your hands on the insides of your legs to try and push your legs open. All right. You say try. <laughs> Flat back. You want to kind of hinge from your hips, the tilt, to whatever your comfort level is here. You're trying to push your knees open. Knees are trying to bring your hands back together. Okay. You're just going to push. I'm going to hold this for 15 seconds, starting now. Push and bring your knees together at the same time. Breathe. And did mention that, right? Nice, easy breaths. Excellent. And release your legs and your hands, arms, shoulders. Nice. I'm just going to wiggle your fingers here. Flex your wrists. Nice. Perfect. Outsides of your legs. Uh, point your hands down this time. Okay, so use the palm of your hand to push your knees together, and your knees are going to try and bring your hands apart. Okay. Flat back. Nice. Another 15 seconds. Anytime you're ready, start. Nice easy breaths. Five more seconds. Excellent. Release your arms and legs. Fantastic. You feel your legs shaking or your arms shaking when you do that? That's exactly where you need to be. Let's go a little bit higher this time. Oh, pull would be good. Palms together, and you rotate your palms so the fingers are opposite. And grab a hold. Right, good grip. Again, check your posture. Pull uh, about chest height's good, or I got shoulder height, whatever is good for you. Okay, start another fifteen second pull. Starting now. Five more seconds. Excellent. Release your arms, shoulders, big grip. Bring your shoulders down and let that come back for you. Whatever you do to make your shoulders feel better, arms, all good. All good. Nice. And let's do a press this time. Press, but heart level. Again, your heart. You want to be able to full press on your uh, palms. Find a pressure you can hold and hold it. Tilt your fingers away and extend your arms out. That pressure on there, breathe. Excellent. Hands should be shaking. That's a good thing. Bring your hands back to your chest. Keep that pressure on your palms. Roll your fingers up. Nice. And you're going to release arms and fingers. And gently flex your wrists again. Perfect. Nice. Palms together. This time, rotate your palms in the opposite direction. It should feel awkward. That's how you know you got the right way. The dominant way always feels the easiest. Right? Again, up to that same, same height you did the last pull. Okay? Get a good grip. And pull for 15 seconds. Start any time. You get to breathe. Breathing here. If you're ever doing this on your own, you should get three decent breaths. Excellent. Gently release that. Shoulders, arms, grip. Same time. And again, wiggle your fingers, flex your wrists. Nice. I think. I think that's good. We're just going to move on. Move on to the next bit. 
So uh, sitting strength is the next one. Stay seated for now. And get some balance and some stretches. All right. Put the middle of your chair. Feet about hip width apart. You want to be able to push down into the into the floor and feel these muscles kind of engage as if you're trying to stand up. Perfect. Okay. So normally we would come all the way up or do a squat or something. This time you're just going to uh, push down into the floor and just get your hips off the chair. It's like an inch and then slowly come back. Okay, so you're not doing the full stand. It's just uh, a little, get those muscles kind of warmed up a little bit, all right? And again, if you need to reach forward, whatever you need to do to get up off the chair, just that inch and then come back down. Push down into the floor, inhale up and right back down again. Fantastic, all right? Once you get that rhythm of pushing off the floor, coming up only part way and back down, nice. We're gonna start slowing it down more, okay? So do it, work at your own pace. So we're at three. It's so much harder than standing all the way up. And then four, slow, 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 slow. Sorry, Anna. Five. Back down again. Six. Push into the floor with all your feet. <laughs> nice. Two more. If you're into it, push. Nice. I think it's getting easier. And one more. And you're ready. And forward, push into the floor. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Back down. Nice. <laughs> hey, when I start losing my balance, tap that out. Nice. Fantastic. Cross your arms, cross your chest. Be flat on the floor still, in the middle of your chair. So from your hips, your hinge point is going to roll forward. Doesn't matter how far you go. Inhale as you come back. Touch and then exhale forward. So you're trying to keep that core nice and strong and straight. Excellent. Match your breath to your movement. Try and keep your head in line with your spine. Sometimes it's hard to figure out where your head is sometimes in space. Kind of lock it into a position. Excellent. Coming up two more. One more. Excellent. Touch against the back and just come all the way up to center. That's fantastic. Drop your arms down and just let your shoulders come back. Chair walk. Works for me. Walk to the front of your chair and you're just trying to lift your hips. Try not to do the big weave back and forth. And just to lift your hips. Do, do your best. That's all, that's all that counts. Ooh, to the back again. Nice. In the front.
and then to the back. I'm going to get you to stay at the back this time. Nice. Rotate. Make any adjustments you need to make. Ah, not the right one. There we go. That'll do. Perfect. Let's go with um, paddling. Okay. Grab your oar, tie, and dig into the water. Excellent. Let's breathe. Enjoy the imaginary trees passing by. That water, fish jumping, sun shining. Just the perfect temperature. That's perfect right there. Chain sides. High on the other side. Continue this little trek. Forget to breathe. Three, two, one. Bring those arms down. Toss the paddle back in the canoe. Perfect. Let's do, um, oh, yes. Walk your way up to about the middle of your chair. Uh, you ever learn this? I know I'm going to do something. Oh, yes, big step, big step, big step. And then the other leg. Nice. Back to center. Adjust as you need to, and then the other side. Your hands can go anywhere. This happened to be where I put mine. The other side. And back to center again. Perfect. That's perfect. Fantastic. I'm going to get you to I'm going to do some balance, I think. It would be good. So have a sip of water if you like. And I'll get you to stand up in behind your chair. Make sure you have some room. Watch where you put that water. Make any adjustments you need. Hands on your chair, or in behind your chair. Bring your feet together, uh, toes more than ankles. Yeah, just make sure you got some space for your ankles. Hands on your chair. You can get you to roll up on the balls of your feet and just back down again. So just kind of warming up the joint. Okay, go back up again. You can test your balance here. It's going up and down. Nice and easy. Perfect. And one more. Nice. Put your hands on your chair. I'm going to get you to lift one leg. So bend your knee. Where this goes, if you can bring your knees in line, fantastic. Try that. A lot of muscles going on working in this, so you know, feel funny, feel different, because this isn't a this is not a natural step. It's good for balance. You can test your balance here, of course, too, as always. Nice. Bring that leg down. Well done. That out. Make sure that leg's gonna support you. Again, feet are together, and you're going to raise the other leg this time. 
Bring the knees in line. Nice. You can test your balance too. Perfect. Set that foot down. Lock that out. Perfect. Move over to the side of your chair. Outside leg is going to be the weight bearing leg. Inside leg, you're going to pedal. It's easy. Add that outside arm. Perfect. And if you're not using this for balance, you can add it too. If you're using it for balance, test that balance along the way. Change direction. Nice. Your toe lifted. And set that foot down. Well done. And again, just kind of let your legs come back. Breath. Perfect. And on that chair again. Outside leg, we're just going to do a kick across your body. So straighten that leg out, lift your toe. You're going to kick across. Keep control of the swing. Don't let your leg just go all crazy. Nice and easy. You can do some small kicks. Test your balance. Breathe. Excellent. Fantastic. Bring that leg back in. Again, just kind of let your legs come back for you. Swing around to the other side of your chair. Little side shuffle. And we're just going to repeat what we did. So your outside leg's weight bearing, inside's going to pedal. And add that outside arm. Nice. It's your balance if you choose. Nice. Excellent. Change direction. Nice. Still breathing, right? Not holding your breath. Set that leg down. The hips come back again. Okay. Shake them out. Whatever you need to do. Inside legs will be weight bearing. Outside, we're just going to kick across your body. So straighten your leg, lift your toe, hold the chair, put yourself going. I'm just going to kick across. So you'll feel this in your hips. We're also using the inside, call it the adductor muscles group. Excellent. Nice. And bring that leg back. Fantastic. Shake that out again. One more time in behind your chair. Hold on. Again, feet are together. You decide what together means to you, right? Excellent. And get you to come up on the balls of your feet. So you raise yourself up, tilt to one side, just very small amount, and then lower back down again. Okay. Bring yourself back to center. And then up, over to the other side this time, and then lower yourself. So remember that degree you tilt doesn't have to be very much. A little, tiny little movement at your head is huge down at the bottom, okay? So again, up, over a little bit, and slowly lower down. Back to center. Up, other side. And again, slowly lower down, and back to center. Fantastic. That's great right there. Have a seat. We're just going to do some stretches seated stretches and then we're going to stand up and do some more standing stretches but let's go with um bring your feet wide okay so you got a good spot we're just going to tilt forward just a few times here just as if you're going to tie a shoe not the middle shoe obviously but obviously right in between okay you can bring your hands down 
try and keep your back flat-ish, whatever works for you. Fingers touch the ground. One. Take a couple of breaths down here. Once you come up again, you're going to inhale and lead with your head as you come up. Get your legs to help with that if you choose, okay? Two more of these. Down again, nice and easy. And enjoy that stretch on your back. <laughs> Should not hurt. If it does, skip this, right? A couple of belly breaths. And you're going to inhale to come back up again. Nice. Fantastic. Okay. If you're feeling dizzy, skip this last one. Okay. Last one again. Hands down. Two more breaths. And, and again, inhale up. And well done. Let's continue. Pick a leg, send it out front. Hands on your bent knee, lift your heart, tilt forward if you need to. I'm gonna feel a stretch in the back of that leg. Gentle. Music sounds very serious. Excellent. Release that leg, bring your leg up. Perfect, we're gonna do the other side, same thing. Straighten your leg, toe towards your knee, hands on your bent leg, lift your heart and tilt forward. Excellent. Release that leg. Bring it up. Keep your feet planted. Get you to grab a hold of your chair. Straighten your arms. You're going to tilt forward. Make sure you got a good grip on something back there. Oh, legs are even better if you can grab legs. And you should feel a stretch. Shoulders. Legs are there to support you. You can lean off. And gently release that back. Wiggle your fingers and flex your wrists here. Your arm bit to the side. So right hand over left, right arm over left. Grab your shoulders. Nice. Take a breath. Gently, you're going to turn to one side. Three, couple of breaths. Back to center. And the other side, same thing. Not going far, just an easy rotation. Family back to center again. Nice. Open those arms up. Perfect. And then back to wherever they go. And then it's going to be left arm over right. Grab a hold. Nice. And we're going to do that same thing again. So keep your heart lifted. Back flattish. Rotate to one side. Couple of breaths. Don't push hard. Gently back to center, and then the other side. Excellent. And gently back to center again. Perfect. Open your arms up. 
Stretch your fingers. And bring those arms down. Shoulders come back. Fantastic. Tell you what, maybe we won't stand. Maybe we'll just put our hands out to the side. Palms up. Inhale your arms up. Rotate, exhale them down. Nice. And again, rotate, palms up. Inhale. Exhale, rotate your palms down. Last one. Palms up. Inhale, palms down. Fantastic. Well done. Nice work. Excellent. You're done.